Many of you who know me, uh, and having had the privilege to be here with you in the past, know how passionately and strongly I feel about those who remain in Camp Liberty. And so we have friends in the room who really stepped up to the challenge, frankly, in a way uh, that I am, I regret to say, the United States is not. I'd like to just talk for a moment about the residents in Camp Liberty. They don't have access to medical treatment. It is really unconscionable. The Iranian regime that influenced the Maliki government, those same people who were responsible in the Iraqi government for the conditions at Camp Liberty remain in the new Iraqi regime. They continue to deny these basic human rights and services to the residents of Camp Liberty. I will tell you it has been a great privilege for me to be able to be a voice for the residents of Liberty. As many of you know, I feel a real kinship to the women of Liberty who have tried to, to shelter their families from further harm, who've tried to continue. Mrs. Rajavi has been a role model and an inspiration to women in this movement, and frankly, under her own security threats, has continued to be internationally an outspoken voice for the women in particular in liberty. Without you being advocates for liberty here in the halls of Congress, they have no voice. And so we here support you, and we here hope to encourage and inspire you to act here with Congress in being the advocates for those in Camp Liberty.